Hello everyone and peace of the Lord with all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Please let me know if you have any problem with the sound. As you see the title today, questions and answers about Islam. Now it's very easy to ask questions, but it's very hard to answer them. <clears throat> uh, before I start, I want to say thank you for all those who send me, uh, you know, their prayer and their support. Uh, because supposedly, I don't feel good. But thanks to God, I'm getting, um, you know, I'm getting better. It's just <clears throat> 48 hours. It was kind of hard, but now it's a lot better than before. Uh, usually, I don't get sick. But, you know, I mean, pff, uh, sometime you need to change oil right like I really really get sick that looked like in the last 40 hours I had to uh, try sick again maybe sickness missed me so anyway <clears throat> always we see Muslims questioning the Bible and one of the funny thing about I find about Muslims questioning the Bible is when a Muslim he questioning the Bible he should be questioning his God first why because you see, when somebody is a Muslim, he believes that the Bible is the book of Allah. It's not like somebody is a Hindu. So when you are a Muslim, and you come to us, and you say as an example, that the Torah is corrupt, or the Injil is corrupt, and actually the Quran, he used exactly the word Injil, which is a Greek word which is a clear proof that Muhammad, he is not a prophet of God. Because if Muhammad, he claimed that the Injil is the book of Isa, which sent to the Jews, how in the world a book sent by somebody, supposedly he is from the Jews according to Islam, to the Jews, but yet the name of his book is in Greek. It's like saying a Christian prince, he made the book to the, to, to the Chinese, but the name of the book in German. This is how silly the statement is. Especially we are talking about religion believe Isa was sent only to the Jews. He's not an international prophet for them only to the Jews Then we find things in the opposite when it's come to Islam Muhammad is an international prophet, but his book in Arabic and people have to pray in Arabic To a God who don't listen to any language except Arabic, but yet he's international prophet this is how much they have double standard and they're thinking and they're questioning same time it is us who should ask the question as long as Allah is the one who revealed the Quran and the Torah and the Injil why Allah according to Muslim he decided to protect the Quran but he don't want to protect the Injil and the Torah I mean isn't it silly isn't it silly of this God is the book of God is equal to other books of God if the Muslim they want to say to us <clears throat> that the book of the Allah the Quran is more important than the Injil that's mean the Muslim believe that Allah was silly stupid when he wrote the Injil and he was stupid and silly when he wrote the Torah so what do you mean this book Allah will protect and the other one will not in the Quran, you will find verses where it says, Nobody can change the word of Allah. Okay. How you say nobody can change the word of Allah? And then you say to us that they change the word of Allah. Huh? Read this verse with me in the Quran. And this is the Muslim translation. Um, the Muslim they say that the Arab were amazed with the Quran. 
but the verse in the front of us it says that the Arab they were asking him to replace the Quran they who look not for the meeting with us say bring a lecturer other than this or a change it say oh Muhammad it is not for me to change it of my accord I only follow which is inspired to me here we find something very funny you see the word inspired is correct in Arabic it says wahi but Muhammad never been inspired Quran and here we see how silly stupid the idea of the one who wrote the Quran because inspired is not by getting delivery by a guy if a guy come to my house and he delivered to me a package of uh, you know zucchini this is not inspiration I'm not inspired zucchini Muhammad never inspired if we ask the Muslims can you show me where Muhammad was inspired they cannot so the one here who chose this word is a stupid is silly and Muhammad saying they are asking him to change the Quran and he says I cannot change the Quran because this is what I inspired but Muhammad never received inspiration Muhammad received delivery isn't it you Muslims all of you agree that Muhammad received Quran from a guy his name is Jibreel so where is the inspiration and he spoke to him face to face inspiration is not is not you know even if God spoke to me is not inspiration no more if he spoke to me directly by voice he appeared in front of me that is not inspiration inspire is it you know he put it in my mind I was inspired from inside me from the from the inner of a human being that God inspired you so you write something by his inspiration but if it is delivery this is not inspiration do we agree people or my English is not helping me to explain do you understand me <clears throat> so here you notice that the Quran is very silly and it doesn't make sense in any way in any mean And the more you read this book, the more you find that this book is very silly. Like as an example, read the verse after it. So if Allah had so willed, I should not have received it to you, nor would have made it known to you. I dwelt among you a whole lifetime before it. Before it, before it, what does that mean? And the bit between to bracket came to me to explain it. Have ye then no sense? I like it when the Quran is speaking about sense. You remember yesterday we, we show you the verse where it says you can eat in your houses? Anyone remember what chapter was? Who remember? Let us see how many of you uh, is learning. What the chapter is the chapter it says, as long as we mentioned it yesterday, let's refresh your memory. Which chapter in the Quran it says you can you are allowed to eat in your house? Anyone remember? 24. Somebody says 23. Okay. Anyone remember? Mm, no. See, like you guys are not really learning. <clears throat> yeah, it's 2461. So, you know, always if you wanna if you wanna speak to Muslims, you have to, you have to keep your reference in mind. Otherwise, there is no point. Right? Like in the future, if you want to show them this verse, what you would do? I mean, you, are you going to start searching? When somebody speak about sense, and you just yesterday we made uh, this video for you, showing you how silly, how funny this book is. Imagine there is God, he says to us, nay plain, no blame is there upon the blind, nor the uh, no blame upon the lame, nor any blame upon the sick, 
uh, nor uh, uh, on yourself if you eat in your houses I mean have you ever heard of such a God saying it's okay no blame upon you if you are blind to eat in your home since when there is a blame I mean who is who what nation in the world they blame somebody anyway for eating in his house if this is God talking God he sit in his table and he start thinking what I will write today what I will, what I will teach the human being today hmm I want to give them extra wisdom hmm something they do not know Mm. I will give them ethic. Mm. Let me write here. No blame if you are sick to eat in your home. Hello. No blame. No blame if you are blind to eat in your home. No blame if you are lame to eat in your. A guy he cannot walk. Where he will eat? No blame to eat in the house of your father. No blame to eat in the house of your mother. Hello. I mean, this is something I have. I have to get God to tell me. It's okay to eat in my house and in, in, in the house of my father and the house of my mother, and then the house of my brother and the house of my sister. So here you notice that this is very silly, stupid book. But the Muslims always they try to give us or they, to try to make you believe that this is an amazing book, wisdom. If you read the verse after this one you will see how silly this book or even if you read the verse before it look at this verse look at this verse read and love as for women past childbearing which means over you know 50 years old who have no hope of marriage it is not a sin for them if they discord clothing in such a way not to show a dormant what is that Allah is saying to women it's okay it's not a sin if you don't have makeup because now supposedly you are in the maintenance store do you see it guys What do you mean it's not a sin? What even the business of this God with women who they are over the age of 50 to tell them some such a silly thing? It's okay if you are in an age where you cannot have babies no more. If you don't put makeup. And if you look horrible. And if you don't take of yourself, take care. If you don't wear nice clothes, it's okay, it's not sin. Why she is dead? She's a woman. So what if she is 45 or she is 50? I mean, this is God. What is the wisdom? Another verse here. <clears throat> Don't call the prophet the same you call each other. What? The true believer. He doesn't speak to his messenger the same he speaks to others. Why? He is God. If you want to go to the prophet, you have to ask for permission. Make not the calling of the messenger among as you calling one another. And then if you go to the rules, you will see that you cannot speak loud when you speak to the messenger. You have to speak like this. Prophet, how are you? If you say, Prophet, how are you? That's not right. You have to lower your voice. And you have to be subdued like you are a cat. And he is the big dog. Make not the calling of the messenger among you as calling one another Allah knows those who you who steal away what does that mean hiding yourself hiding themselves what does that mean Allah making a threat 
You know, you cannot talk about Muhammad the same you talk about others. Muhammad is God. Don't talk about the Prophet in the way you talk about others because Allah all knowing he knew how you talk about him. Muhammad, he fabricated Quran to make them speak to him in a, such a way as God even if he is not there otherwise Allah all knowing and he will punish you and here we go this is a verse from Allah by the way just to inform you the videos we take down you will find a link for it from now on in minds that come which mean like now I have a I have this original link Later, a day after this video will be taken down, but I will post replacement for it from the videos of channels which you guys you are downloading. So later, the same video will be in different channel. I will post it in mind. So don't, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, subscribe to Minds. Here we go. We made we made a better Quran. Now, everything we see in front of us. Muslims, they don't like anyone uh, to question it. As an example, the same chapter. Imagine, it says here, that Allah, he sent down from heaven, hail. And this hail is in mountains in heaven, which means Allah, he break the hail from those mountains. Can we question this stupidity? No. Uh, Muhammad explained how the hail is made. Science. You cannot question. And the Muslim, they fabricate stories about science. As an example, here they says that the Quran says that there is the darkness of a sea which is covered by wave after wave. They say to you, according to science, there is above waves and there's uh, in, uh, down in the ocean waves. But this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying that a crazy sea, there's waves come in the top of the other wave, as simple as that. And the more crazy the ocean is, the more stormy it is, the darker, darker it's going to be. And that's why he's speaking about the cloud in the top of it. So always they try to fabricate something is not there in order to convince you that this book is a book of God. What about the Quran? Saying that the stars are made to shoot the shaitan in his ass. Do you know how big the star is? Chapter 65, 67, verse number 5. And verily, we have beautified the word heaven with lamps, okay? And we made them missiles for the devil. But the devil, he live in the earth. Anyone knows what this is about? What the, what the, what the point of this story? Who knows? Let us see how many of you remember what is behind the story. And thank you, by the way, for those who made donation. I appreciate your support. Now, you know, with this donation, I can go and eat in my mom house because Allah, he allowed it. Finally, I thought I cannot eat in my mother house. Thank you, guys. Anyone remember? The genie, according to Muhammad, the genie, which is the shaitan, they try to spy at Allah. So what Allah he do? He have a defense system, Star Wars system. Star Wars has exist before George Bush and those idiots. We have it long time before Muhammad is the first one who starts Star Wars. So when the shaitan, he tried to spy at Allah, Allah he showed him. Is that in the Quran or this is in the Hadith? Anyone remember? You want to remember? Is that in the Hadith or in the Quran? This is in the Quran, chapter 15, verse number 18.
here you will see if we read like a little bit uh, before it says and verily in the heaven we have set mansions of stars and we beautified it for a whole beholder and we have guarded guarded it from every outcast devil you see the Muslims here they use this verse to say to you this is about the atmosphere L look how they fabricate this verse saying it is the sky protected not the earth it is opposite and wait what he's talking about here you see they, they show you they show you this verse and they show you other verse we will show that one too but they will not show you that this is about protecting the sky from the devil the devil cannot leave the earth and go to the sky and we have guarded it from every outcast devil what they do save him who steals the hearing and them those clear flame appears pursue so when when the shaitan he tried to steal information from allah and this is very normal these days you know hacking this is hacking you know but he want to go to heaven to steal to spy okay shaitan obviously he worked for cia or mossad or kgb so shaitan he tried to spy but allah will not let that happen but sometimes in in different verses it says it happened so what allah do right away the alarm system of allah is going to go crazy and the missile he will take one of the stars so what happened here Muhammad with his ignorance trying to explain what the foreign star we see at night are this is a legion idea that the, the devils ones they start to spy at gods so they can watch it or they can use it for which which a craft or let, let us say the one who read your future how they can do that because they have a communication with those shaitan who they spy at God and they give them information for exchange so when you see a foreign star which is not really a star it's a meteor according to Muhammad this is a real star and Allah he is shooting the shaitan in his ass for trying to spy and yet the Muslim they say to us like who have a book like the book of Allah who can make a book like the book of Allah how the shaitan is so small to the point he can wrap himself around your penis Muslims yet he need a star to kill him according to your prophet shaitan even asleep in your nose Let's see. Let's see if we can find the hadith. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. But yet we need a star we need a star to to shoot it i mean such a small creature why allah he need a star to kill it or to keep it away and why allah even need such a thing i mean if if uh, i'm just trying to find you the hadith in uh, in arabic in english sorry <clears throat> look at this and this is sahih they can't say to us it's weak the apostle of allah said when one any of you uh, uh awake up from sleep and perform a lotion, he must clean his nose three times for the devil spend his night in the interior of his nose so a little tiny is not even in the size of a mosquito. We need a star to kill it. How the star will go inside the earth without destroying the earth? Do you know how big the star is?
And how even shaitan can spy at Allah? I mean, why Allah need the, the Muslim they say to us that Allah, if you want something, he say B is going to be. Okay, say B, say B. Say they cannot spy. That's it. What do you mean uh, missiles and shooting? Who is the one who is the one is going to shoot those stars? Let us think about it. You see, I, I, I like to uh, uh, like to make people use their brain so we can think together. Uh, let me grab an image here so we can use it for this. Hold on. Give me a second. <clears throat> Which image we will use? Okay, hold on. All right. I will use an Islamic image I have here. I will take a snapshot of it so we can use it. Okay. <clears throat> Let us imagine this together. Shaitan, he live in earth, according to Islam. Shaitan want to go up to heaven. Okay. Shaitan going up. He tried to go up. Shaitan, he arrived here. We will make him uh, in yellow. This is Shaitan. Allah and look like it he have an army or defense system where angels maybe or even him they have guns and what is the animation for those guns they shoot stars so Allah here he have defense system The second the shaitan he arrived to a certain point, those uh, angels they start shooting missiles at the shaitan, and then either they get him injured or he get killed. And this is according to the explanation of the hadith of or and that of seer. So the second the shaitan he tried to get in, the one who survive is the one who come back usually and he steals some information, which means he was successful really. He did not die. So he stole some information and he came back with it. Now, if we go and see the interpretation for this verse. Because you know the Muslims they might say to us or oh, you are making things up Chapter 15 verse number 18 Let us see the interpretation We go to English Chapter 15 Verse number 18 The Sira Jalalain This is a Jalalain who is you know comparing to others, he is a new scholar. He is saying, except the one who listened by stealth, he pursued by a clear flame, a shining meteor that the breast burns him or purses him. Or drive him insane so he's not going not necessarily going to get killed 
the Muslims after they noticed that this is impossible they start using the word bitor in the interpretation but in the Quran it says clearly those are lambs and lambs are exist according to the Quran only in the lowest heaven and they are the stars and actually there's many uh, uh, in the same website of Quran and miracles you will find them speaking about those lambs as a stars and they themselves they, they agree that lambs is a stars not a meteor but it is a meteor when they want it's a star when they want the bend in the deception if we go to different interpretation save him who still is hearing and then and them doth a clear flame pursue they are pursued by a bright Burning star. Let's go to Ibn Kathir. What Ibn Kathir want to say? Ibn Kathir is a moderate scholar who try always to defend the Quran, and he have. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Just take a note about that. Ninety percent of Ibn Kathir in English, or sorry, in Arabic, it disappear in English. So here we will we will see. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir talking. Allah, He made the stars as Buruj. Buruj, by the way, what do you call it in English? The one you uh, you read your future, like you can read what will happen to you. Islam teaches exactly the same. This is something they took from the they took from the Indian from the Persian about uh you know there is Buruj or there is a, a towers and palaces and each one of them presents something and we can read the future with it so then he says he refers to essential fortune uh, fortress he made shooting stars to guard against the evil devils who try to listen to information conveyed at the highest highest Or highest heights if any devil preaches and advance hoping to listen a clear shooting star comes to him and destroy him he may already have passed on whatever he heard before okay so look what happened here shaitan he went to heaven and he is communicating with his friends and now Allah he shoot him but it's too late because shaitan already he steals some information and now he will carry it down to earth the fire hit him and another devil below him the later will then take it to his friends among the humans as he stated in Sahih explanation and this is a hadith In the in the hadith so the Muslims believe that shaitan he can steal and he can spy at Allah and he can use it for a fortune teller and least until he it reached the earth and he put it in the mouth of the sorcerer or fortune tellers so that after telling a hundred lies he got something right so fortune tellers are according to Islam, they are true people, you know, they are really staying at Allah. They are they are get, getting their information from Allah. Uh, let us see if this guy is a Muslim. And remember the interpretation of the Quran by new scholars and Ibn Kathir is one of the newest by the way maybe like even though he is many centuries before but the more it's close to our time the more the interpretation is tried to make the Quran more acceptable that's why you see and in, in the in the English translation it is totally different from the English translation
Edesi, somebody he's a Muslim when I call. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Ooh, is this the famous Christian Prince? I am no famous, my friend. I am just anyone. How I can help you? Oh, um, so it, uh, I was just watching the stream. Um, are, you're talking about uh, Surah Baruj? Well, we are talking about many uh, chapters. You know, this one is chapter of Al Hajr. Oh, okay. Yeah. About the shaitan spying at Allah. What do you think? There, there's there's a lot of stuff that's very very strange and um in I, I guess the Islamic tradition but this is not tradition this is Quran it's, it's the Quran yeah this is Quran the Quran says that Allah Allah is saying speaking that shaitan he steal information from him like I I have the stream muted because I, I don't want like the Echo but you can you but, can put the you can put the uh, you can view the screen even if you mute it. You okay. Know, so yeah. You are hearing me anyway. It says in uh, chapter fifteen, verse number eighteen, save him who steals the hearing. Okay, shaitan. So the shaitan, he go up to heaven and he steal information from Allah, and Allah he showed him with a star. What do you think about that? That that's strange. Uh, that's strange or stupid. I don't know. We have to be uh, more accurate in description. Let us be honest. Oh, the the the, the translation like um, it's like a, uh, it's like the old English. So it doesn't matter. You you speak Arabic. Uh, my my Arabic is very bad. Very okay. bad. Well, you can open any translation you wish. I mean, it doesn't matter really. Yeah, and I'm explaining to you what it says, but we can you can open any translation you wish. It says it clearly, all of them they agree that uh, you know, shaitan he still information. Let us try different translation for you just to make you happy. Uh, what about Yusuf Ali? You like Yusuf Ali? And any translation works, brother. Okay, but any but uh, but any that uh, gains a hearing by stealth is pursued by flaming fire, and the verse preferred saying that this is the devil. So, I'm, I'm actually going to try my hand at the Arabic. Um, in Arabic, I will read it for you, just to help you as long as your Arabic is bad. Okay, so Allah, He sent him. Yeah. Uh, and we made the sky uh, uh, towers or zodiacal signs and we made her uh, be beautified for the beholder the one who is looking okay. and, and by the way this is false because most of the stars we don't see we what we see of the stars is not even maybe one to one billion yeah, no, the, the star, there's a lot more stars. So this is a mistake in the Quran. The Quran is saying that this is a decoration for the for the, for us. But the fact, that's not true. We don't see most of it. And then he says, and well, we and we guarded it from every evil shaitan. And then except the one who steal information, Allah, he shoot him with a, with a, with a flaming uh, fire. So what do you think? Uh, j just a question like uh, uh it's like it's referring and we have protected the sky, it the sky oh this okay yeah okay. because the verse about speak about the sky okay. that goes back to the sky okay yeah so what do you think I don't, I don't know man it's uh you want to stay as a muslim i mean 
I, I actually wouldn't wouldn't call myself one. So what do you call right. yourself now? Uh, ag agnostic, I guess. Um, oh, so what does that mean? Why? Are you, so are you are saying you decide to leave Islam? I, I mean, not not officially. It's, okay. it's kind of like. I mean, why you don't do it officially? Uh, scared. From what? Uh, Allah will shoot you with the star. Uh, more like more like family. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, a family. So your family will be happy if you are you decide to be fool, stupid, and you believe in such a madness. Is that what make the family happy? Um, it, it's it's a slow process. It's a slow process. I'm I'm well, working through it. I'm not going to 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 pressure you. You know, but I mean, it's obvious. Like, look at the verse after it, and the earth we have spread out. Actually, it says, uh, which means we make it a flat, like a carpet, as you see, and then we set their their own mountains. So according to the Quran, the earth is a flat. And Allah he placed in the top of the earth the mountains, but this is false You know the mountains are not placed in the top of the earth <clears throat> The mountains is coming from inside the earth because of the tectonic pr pressure Right yeah. yeah, so I mean every sentence there is a joke. This is going to be God talking Um, it, it, Is it okay if I ask you a question sure or um, so like I, I was doing some, some like some research on the on the Quran, I guess hmm. um, and Like some some of like the Some of like you, you probably speak better Arabic than me, but um, So some of the words in even in Arabic don't make sense okay. Yeah um, we we can pull up an example if you if you want. No, no, my friend. All the Quran, no. Arabic word doesn't make sense. You don't need to look all of it. Like look at this in front of us. You know. Okay. Okay. Like like uh, as an example. Yeah. Uh, when uh, when the Quran in this verse says, "From everything we have, warehouse of it." I mean, from everything we have a warehouse of it. How that can be? We mean, kulli shay. Here, read. When mean shay illa in dana khaza inuhu from everything you have, we have here the warehouse of it. I mean that's silly. Warehouse of it, khaza inuhu. How God he says from everything you have, we have the warehouse of it, not source. It doesn't say source, this is false translation. So Allah He claimed that He have a warehouse and He sent down from His warehouse what we have, and we send it in a measurable uh amount so what do you have in your house you have a tv uh, allah you have a tv there you have a tree uh, allah send you and he have more there uh, you have a uh, you have a zucchini allah have more there he send you zucchini <laughs> down but he have more there so so when you say you know uh, there's many words and the quran does not make sense the word quran itself doesn't make sense it's it's uh, in arabic it's even wrong there's nothing in arabic it's called quran but because this is an Aramaic, taken from the Aramaic, that's why it doesn't make sense. Wait, the, the word Quran is not Arabic? Yes, it's not Arabic. Because Quran, you see in Arabic, the same as in English, you say eat, eat, right? Yeah. Like, you know, there's, a, you know, for the verbs and for the words and etc. In Arabic, we have the same. Like you say, akala uh, ya'kulu uh, aklan. You don't say akala ya'kulu aklanan. So, qara'a yaqra'u, you don't say Quranan, qira'atan. So this is wrong, but because this is a word stolen from the Christians Aramaic, the, the Aramaic Christians, and then now actually even in Arabic Christian when they read the Bible, they say Qira'a mean kitab, Quran or Qira'a from the book of John as an example. Muhammad, he took it and he named the Quran with it. And actually I believe the one who named it this way, it was uh, Waraq ibn Nufal. I, I thought like like because because I was, I was doing some reading on this um like uh in arabic you have you have like the roots and you have the uh like al wazin al wazin yeah um like they, they were saying it's um para which is like the root to read mm. and then in in the pattern of al fulan mm. Let us not to go in details in Arabic, you know, because okay, okay, because okay, yeah, first sure, of all, sure. your Arabic is not good, and the people who are listening will not uh, get the benefit from this. But listen, okay, to okay, this. Okay. But listen okay. to this 
You remember when Muhammad he received Quran first time, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. What yeah. is the first word Allah he said to him, according to Muslims? Uh, Thank you very much. Now, how Allah he said to Muhammad, read in the name of your God, but Muhammad do not know how to read. And how Allah he said to him, read, but he did not give him a book to read. I don't know. That's, 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 weird. that's strange. That's, that's, not, that's, not, not. that's not strange because the story here is a stupid. You know, Muhammad, he is trying to copy a story from the Old Testament. Where, you know, uh, you know, the Bible speak about those, you know, they cannot read the book. He cannot read the book. He is not from the Jews. He is not from the believers. He is just uh, a pagan person. So read. And Muhammad, he says, I cannot read. Right? Yeah. Uh, this is what the Muslim is saying. This was the story is saying. Now, the Muslim, they try to cover it up. They're saying here, Allah is saying to him, recite. But if, if it is recite, that's a problem. Because recite is, you say something from your memory, correct? Yeah. You cannot say recite when this is the first word he ever heard from Allah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can say to him, recite, if he heard that before, not he just heard this. Same time, if it's repeat, that doesn't make sense still. Why if I say to you, repeat, you say to me, I cannot repeat. By, by saying that word, you repeat it already. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's a stupid story. It does not make sense. But Muhammad, he had to come with a story that here we go, finally, he got a decision from his God, and this God he says to him read, and uh, which mean which mean this is the opening statement from Allah for him to bring Quran to people. But the st the story does not make sense and it's foolish and it's uh, poorly made, uh, written, and does not describe anything right about what Muhammad trying to resemble. My friend, there's a Muslim trying to call me and he said he want to debate me. I will, oh. I, will, I will go back to you if he is not worth it. I apologize. Uh, okay. 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 Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Mute YouTube. Please. Hello. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. What's up? Friend. You are live on air. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Abdul? Do you know? I just heard you talking to a guy. Do you know who that was? I recognize him. I don't care. Who are you? Are you a Muslim? No, 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 no. Just that's, that's. I am a Muslim. He was talking to a guy who said that he wasn't. Ex-Muslim or agnostic or whatever, right? I don't care. People they say whatever they want. And what's you your problem? Care because that guy came to your mission and said that you converted him to Islam. Adam, he said was his name. Remember? I recognize his voice. Now mm -hmm. today he is not a Muslim anymore. You see how no no, he's not a Christian anymore. He said he was an agnostic. Mm. And how you know that this is Adam? I know that I know his voice. Mm -hmm. I know him. I made a oh. video out of you, out of the video he made with you. Mm -hmm. You fooled him, telling him that uh, when uh, when uh, when Allah said, "Whoever obeys the messenger obeys Allah." Remember, mm -hmm. and you fooled him through that, and, the, and you have him revert or convert to Christianity. Okay. That's the same guy. He just talked to you. Okay, okay. He, he let us assume. Him. Let us assume that he is. A, you are, that's okay, how okay, dumb okay. you are. Okay, he just, just showed that. Just to you show you. Just to no show time. you. Just to show you how stupid what you are saying. You just admitted yep. that you cannot refute me, and people are leaving Islam. Thank you very much. Now, can you refute me in that point? Yeah, I'm going to refute you. Yesterday, you made a lie, right? You said something right. about eating at home or eating uh, at your cousins or your friends, right? You try to make fun of that, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you don't know, you don't know. You really? are just making yourself look so stupid. Well, you don't know what was going on in your let, own country, let, let, in your own zone. Listen okay, to me. Okay, let us. Let okay, us, let us see you know how to stupid. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I'm are, tired are you, are you of you not to, listening? Are you, are you calling to fight or are you are calling to answer? 
I am calling because I'm tired of okay. you not listening. I'm asking you then. I'm asking you. Listen you. What kind of God he says? What listen. kind of God? What kind of God he says you can eat in your home? Explain to us. Okay, we'll explain to you. What? Did, did, yes, I will. If you listen, you shut your damn mouth. I will explain it to Speak you. Speak with respect. You otherwise, me? I will insult your prophet. I, I warn you. Each time you insult me, I will insult your prophet. So don't bring insult you your prophet. me. I'm tired of being respected. I don't care if you respect you me or not. You Speak want. nicely so we can it talk. Is. This what kind of God ultimate. answer you see you are a coward you will never answer you will give me a speech What Ephraim, kind of God he says if you are a blind you can eat in your home if you speech. are sick you can I, eat I, in I your home you go, I ahead. You. go ahead answer what you said what what kind of God he says no blame is there upon you a blind no blame if there is somebody is lame no blame if somebody is sick no blame upon yourself if you eat in your home do we need a verse from yeah. God to say it's okay to eat in our home? Okay. Do you know that as of today, if you go to India, some people do not eat together? Did you know that? Abdul. As of today, Abdul, today Abdul, listen Abdul, to me. Just Abdul, say yes Abdul, or no. No, no, no. Just, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. First of all, you. hold on. Do just you know let that? me yes show you no. how stupid you are. First of all, this is speaking about you can eat in your home if you are blind. If you are sick, I will get if to, you are a lame, yeah, no, no, yeah. you get from here first. Get start from here. What kind of God you, he need to teach you that you can eat in your home? Start, please. Yes, mm. uh, it, 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 it just didn't start by that. If it, it ended up by that, it said you can eat to your cousins, to your mothers, to your mm. father. It didn't start by that. Start where don't lie. Where the blind, That's where the blind, do. he is allowed to Here's eat the before Islam. Put the verse on the before, screen. before your God, Put he the says verse that. On the shut, screen. Up, shut up. I, I will answer. You're a liar, the like blind, user. Put no, the verse on the screen right now. Twenty-four sixty-one. The blind, he eat where before Islam. Before Put Islam, where the blind, he eat. He eat outside of his own. You see, every time you get caught lying, you 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 turn around. Do you know that? Flame, shut up. Who is the one who claims somebody is a blind for eating at his home? Who in the world somebody he he blames somebody? It says no blame upon you if you are sick or a blind or even yourself, which means if you are not even a sick or lame or blind to eat in your home. What kind of garbage is garbage? Why is somebody blaming somebody for eating his house? Hello. Hello. What happened? <laughs> I'm sick of your lies. I mean, what lies? I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, well, guys, I am sick of your lies. Do you know in India until now they did eat together? First of all, those are not in India. Those are Arab, and we eat together, and we have a small rooms. Actually, it's even a tent. What do you mean we don't eat together? Since when? Since when a family they don't eat together? Since when somebody is a plane for eating his house? Who is the crazy one to believe in such a garbage? So he called, he shout. Do you know that this guy who called you is the same guy who let Islam before? So let us say for the sake of argument, yes. So he left Islam. Good for him. Can you bring him back to Islam? Call me Abdul. Why you hang up? Are you calling a friend? <laughs> I am sick of your lies. I'm sick of your lies. And then, where you start from there? It says, look, or the house of your mothers, or the house of your brothers, or the house of your sisters. <laughs> <laughs> you made me laugh. Oh boy. <coughs> call Abdul, call, we wanna laugh. Where do you go? They went offline. Potato. I am sick of your lies. I am the one is lying. If a blind cannot eat in his house, who is the one who can eat in his house? 
He's a blind. What he will go? If somebody is a lame, what do you mean no plane? And what make it more funny? No plane. If you eat in your house, if you are blind. No plane. If you eat in your house, if you are lame. No plane. If you eat in your house and you are sick. No plane. If you yourself, even if you are not sick, you eat in your house. I mean, that is the most silly, stupid thing. And no plane if you eat alone or together. Let us say he said, Do you know in India the until now there's people who don't eat together? Really? <laughs> However, it says here no plane to eat alone. So he is agreeing with the Indian. That's mean he agree with the Indian. It doesn't say you cannot eat alone, it says you can. So how silly you are and Allah now speaking to the Indian uh, this verse brother this verse brother is made for the Karnaik This verse exactly he made for the Karnaik because in my family we don't you to eat together We are Indian and we you to eat like individual But Allah he want to tell us it's okay to eat together What a big fat lie children they eat with their parents since when they eat everyone alone <laughs> I'm sick brother I'm sick of your lies and the guy who called you before is the same guy his name is Adam who left Islam do you remember him and you fooled him and you made him believe that the Quran says you have to obey the messenger yes the Quran says that are you there Abdul are you going to call me back or no Hello. I'm sick of your lies. Yes, the Quran says you have to obey Muhammad. The one who obey Muhammad will obey Allah. And look, guys, he remembered the voice of the guy, which means this guy is really in pain for seeing hearing people leaving Islam calling me life. I don't remember them. I mean, how I'm going to remember. There's thousands of people left Islam and I talk if I talk to, to tens of thousands I will not be exaggerating if I say tens of thousands But look how much pain they have All the verses in front of us is speaking about obeying Muhammad, but look at this verse here Who is obeyed the messenger had obeyed Allah so Muhammad obedience is more important than obeying Allah and as long the Quran clearly says that Muhammad is a sinner we forgive thee for the past and the come of your sin so how you order human being to obey a sinner who is a human being like him and you made his obedience the obedience of God by this verse Muhammad he elevate himself upon God because obeying him is more important than obeying Allah himself Okay. Somebody left Islam and he need help. Um And by the way, he said that his name, this guy, his name is Adam. This guy, he just tell me that his name is not Adam, really. <laughs> Let us call him and see what he will say about this guy. Hello? Hello? 
Oh, hi, hi, hi. Sorry. Yeah. Are you? Uh, he's saying that your name is Adam, and you called me before, and you left Islam life on air. No, no. Your name is no. not Adam. No, no, my name's not Adam. Okay, but he's saying that uh, uh, you left Islam because I told you about this verse specifically. So is that true? No. <laughs> Not you? Okay. Well, I don't know. This is what he's saying. So I was I was wondering if he's right or not. I don't know. Yeah, but he's nope. obviously he's very angry from you because you left Islam. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. What make you leave Islam if you don't mind to say? Uh I'd rather not get into it. If okay. if you don't mind, sorry. All right, no problem. Well, I just wanted to confirm what he said if you are Adam the one who left Islam or not. But anyway look like he is wrong again or maybe but obviously he is angry from seeing people leaving Islam life on air uh, he, he is very very angry he's shouting yeah yeah well, you know it's okay I understand I mean if I am him I will be angry too I have a stupid God what I can do you know? <laughs> yeah. but it's not it's not his fault It's the fault of what we believe you know when you show them how stupid this is, is I mean like this verse he is talking about that no plane that you can eat if you are blind to eat in your house. I mean, he's a blind. Will eat who where? I mean, what do you that, mean no plane? Do I need somebody to tell me there's no plane? I mean, what nation they blame somebody for eating in his house? I mean, since when eating in your house is a crime? What what verse is this? This is chapter twenty-four, verse number sixty-one. All right. Anyway, That's my friend, let us see if verse. we can take more Abdul. And thank you for calling. Next time, change your name to Adam so the Muslims will get happy. <laughs> All right? Okay. Okay, take care. I mean, do you see how mad, angry, stupid he is? He cannot answer. You are making fun of this verse. Do you know that in India until now they don't eat? Hey, are there's any Indian here? Who is Indian here? You people in India don't eat together? Are you sure? <laughs> I you know before I associate with many Indian Indian they eat together what are you talking about they have big family and they eat together and they are you know what do you mean they don't eat together if you are saying to me that there is a uh, like in India there's discrimination let us say there is like uh, uh, like people are divided by level of understander I agree with that but this is not what it says here this is about eating your home your home and eating together or individual in your home and what does have to do with India But because they knew that this is very silly, very stupid verse, I made them so upset. And this is why, guys, I say to you, download this video, share it everywhere. There is nobody will see this video and he will not die laughing. How many of you download the video? I think we have an Indian calling. Hello? Yeah, I'm an Indian CP. How are you? My brother, how are you? <laughs> very well by the way i apologize from any indian i'm not making fun of the indian huh? but you know me i'm, I'm not i'm not about you that. know and i saw that video earlier as well yeah. the one you made earlier about the eating yeah and uh yeah it's funny it's stupid do you eat alone as an indian <laughs> no no nah, there's no restrictions like that there's, that's just absurd it's it's crazy yeah they are trying to defend in any way right it's just <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's madness, absolute right. madness. So, what do you want to say to us, our friend, my friend? Um, no, just keep up the good work. Um, I have called you before. I'm the Sikh that told you, but uh, oh, testimony about Sikh. my uh, my you son. Why well, you don't tell us don't a bit about the Sikh? Because many people they they uh, they uh, mix between the Sikh and the Muslims. Can you share some information as long as you are a Sikh? You used to be a Sikh. Sikh? Now? We used to be a Sikh. That's right. Now you're a Christian, right? Um. We're, we're born enemies, you could say. Um, Indian Pakistan have always been at war. Okay. Um, we're just, yeah, we're just told opposite of them. We're, we're told from birth, um, one thing you never do is trust a Muslim. You know, that's the first thing that's ingrained in an Indian, especially Sikh. Hmm. Uh, we've been, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, the Sikhs actually came out of Hinduism. The the eldest Hindu son was made a Sikh because of all the incursions the Muslim kept making into India, mm. taking their women and so on. And uh, so the, the eldest son would be would be classified as a Sikh, and they that's where it really originated. So, and so uh, is it, is they were the warriors. They were the warriors. They were the fighters that were the front line against the Muslims attacking. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You know, but. Uh... I'm trying to understand that is the Sikh a religion by itself or is still they are Hindu? No, no, no. Sikh is now a, a different religion. It was started with the, the they have ten gurus and it started with Guru Nanak about uh, four hundred years ago. Okay. So he was the first guru, and uh, then there was a succession of gurus. There were ten in total, and uh, then to stop that going on. The the Indian holy or they call it holy scripture. The Indian scriptures was made made the last guru, and uh, so there were no human gurus after that. The tenth, the the eleventh is basically the holy book, the holy Indian book. Mm -hmm. And uh, they treat it just like a man, you know, in the temple. They will yeah. wake it up in the but morning. Do you understand about the and Sikh? Then, you know, you as as coming from a Sikh background, uh, Many people they think the Sikh as Muslims because they put the turban in their head, but the fact that the Muslim they the, they fought them for centuries, correct? And they killed a lot of them, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, when uh, oh, I can't remember his name. Um, who was the, the evil the evil guy that invaded uh, India? Um, Jangir Khan, I think his name was. Yeah. He tried to uh, make all of India into Sikhs. Um, so they called the guru who was alive at the time, who was the ninth guru, and uh, basically the Sikh said, if you can get him to convert, we'll all convert to Islam as well. And basically he gave his life. I mean, in Sikhism, even during the, uh, you know, when they felt the British there, the Sikhs gave 99% of sacrifices. And uh, they really were the brunt of the Muslims at the time. Because they couldn't get them to convert, they'd rather die as Sikhs than uh, convert to Islam. So look like um, uh, the Sikh are people to respect, not uh, what people the, think. No, it was it was the it was the hardest thing for me to do to give up my religion because we our temples are open not twenty four seven. Some of them are, but you go in there and you're you can have a free meal. You can be white, black, anything. We don't well they don't turn anybody away from the temples. Mm -hmm. It's all about sacrifice. The Sikhs originally there were there were monk warriors is what they were. They never ever fought any offensive battles. It was always defensive battles to protect against the the incursion of the Muslims. Yeah. Um, so actually, it was. You know, it is a very well respected religion in that sense. Yeah. But unfortunately, it doesn't doesn't give you salvation, which I is what Jesus Christ does. Yeah, uh, and you know, I noticed about the Sikh that they are. Uh, in the beginning, I do not know about them. You know, we are in the Middle East. We, never, we don't have Sikhs, so we do not know what the Sikh is. You know, okay. and first time we we saw them, we thought they are maybe kind of Muslims because they put the turban, etc. And it sound like you know confusing. But then by the turban is totally noticed, different. Yeah, I know, but that, but I mean, by time I noticed that those are not only not Muslims. They fought Muslims for centuries, and they defend the borders of India for a long time, uh, like did. in Afghanistan attack. Uh, uh, Pakistan, uh, m m from all over. So, see, because they're in the Punjab, they're in the north, yeah. and it's that's that's where they used to attack from. Yeah. So they were really the front line in the Punjab. Absolutely, yeah. And my friend, you as an ex Sikh, uh, and now you are a Christian. Like, uh, mm -hmm. so is 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 there as a churches between the Sikh people now, Christian churches? Is there? Is there a what? Sorry. I mean, do the uh, Sikh accept the Christian to be part of their society, or they reject them? Um, it varies from family to family, CP. Um, some Sikh families have this attitude, well, it's your life, you know, if that's what you want. Some of them do still have this attitude of, you know, they disown you kind of thing. So it's, yeah, it's not, it's not set in stone. It varies from family to family. Um, we ourselves, when we first became Christians, some of our family did reject us. I'll be honest with you, mm, that's and uh, that's it's taken time are, to build uh, bridges. It's not, so it's not easy. It's not easy. Some of some of my family still don't talk to me. You know, two of my sisters still don't speak with me. Um, yeah. But we just we just pray for them. You know, that's do all they, we can do. And uh, we know that the Lord like loves that. them more than we even we love them, and the Lord wants them to come to Him even more than we want want uh, them to come to the Lord. Yeah. So we just pray to the Lord, and that's. I mean, we used to. I used to cry in the beginning, you know, uh, kind of thing. 
But then I just got to a stage where I said, Lord, I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, I know you love them even more than I love them. So I just commit them to you and I just pray for them every day. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I can do really as a Christian. Do they, see, do they see go uh, use violence against Christians? Do Sikhs, um, obviously not in the UK, you know. Um, yeah, but what about back him? home, I've not really heard. Yeah, I suppose there is the odd occasion, you know, um, especially if their family member has been converted to Christianity, possibly, um, but not on the scale. I mean, it's not, It's I mean, the Muslims do it because of their scriptures. The Sikh scriptures don't say that. You know, it is supposed to be a peaceful religion, live and let live kind of religion. Hmm. Um, so, it's not scriptural. It's not from the scriptures that, yeah, you slay anyone that converts from Sikhism to Christianity. It doesn't work like that, no. It's kind of uh, individual behavior. It's an individual behavior, that's right. It's how, I suppose, how they feel their status is. Because in India, the Christian, I mean, I don't know if you know about India, but it's a caste system there, hmm. and the Brahmins are at the top, and the Christians are regarded as the lowest of the lowest of the lowest. So they feel that sometimes you've brought shame on the family by becoming a Christian, you know, what will our relatives say and so on. So you do get the odd occasion, but it's not it's not from scripture. It's more from personal pride, if anything. Mm, all right. Well, I just I wanted to know some information about, about them, and uh, we are glad to have you, my friend. Uh, is there yeah. anything else you want to share before you go? Is there anything else I want to share? Um, yeah, just, uh, just encourages Muslims to just... Um, you know, just pull out their, open up their hands and say, Jesus Christ, if you're Lord, show me as well. You know, because the Lord is not going to force himself upon them. At the end of the day, they have to invite the Lord into their life, is what they need to understand. Um, they can argue all they want, you know, but when you see miracles, you can't argue with that. And we, we ourselves have seen so many miracles. Um, and yeah, you don't, you don't have that concept in any, in, in any other religion, you know. So all I would say to the Muslims is it's just, you have to, God is not going to stand in front of you and say, here I am. It's a case of, you know, Lord, even if it's from a position of doubt, you know, Lord, if you are God, Jesus Christ, show me and I'll give my life to you. And the Lord doesn't hide himself. I mean, he's, a, he's a living God. You know, he will, he will reveal himself. As long as you, you mean it from the bottom of your heart and you're desperately searching for God, that's how I find, found God, to be honest, because um, I shared my testimony before, how my two younger sons, one was 10, one was 14, gave the life to the Lord. And uh, when I used to go to Bible study with my 14-year-old, who was then about 17 when I gave my life, and uh, when I used to watch them pray, I I knew they had something I didn't have at the time. You know, I had just started believing in Jesus, but when I saw them pray and so on, I just knew they had something I didn't have. And uh, I used to come and I'd cry, and I used to, like, you know, I was so hungry for God. And uh, it took a month or two, three months maybe. But yeah, God does reveal himself to you. He doesn't come in front of you, obviously. But you find that your prayers are answered and things just start happening supernaturally. That never happened before. Um, so yeah, I'll just say to these people, just open up your hands, open up your hearts and ask God to come into your life because he's not going to force himself upon you. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for the nice okay. uh, wisdom words. And I hope people are listening and they are learning from your testimony. Thank you very much for calling. Thanks, AP. Bye-bye. Take care. Um, you know, always, always, every one of us, he have his own experience. Is my is my mic is better now? I think this is a Skype thing. I think Skype is controlling the microphone somehow, and it take my microphone down somehow. I don't know what to say. Because I think now you don't have a problem, right? Only when somebody call, the sound go down. Yeah, I think it's Skype thing. Or maybe I th I'm thinking uh, <clears throat> uh, it's a genie. It's a genie in my Skype. Uh, let me let me read the Quran a chapter of the chair upside down. The Muslim they believe if you read the chapter of the chair from the end to the beginning, that will kick out of the genie from your house. Mm -hmm. I have a genie by the way in my house. And the other day, this is a true story. I don't like to share it with anyone except in YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Just keep it private, please. I look at my keys. I could not find my keys. And then I looked again. I could not find them again. And I look again. 
and I could not find them again and again and then I got so upset where I lost my keys and I start thinking reading Quran finding answers and Allah he answered me he said to me no blame is there upon the blind nor blame upon the lame nor blame upon the sick nor yourself to eat in your home so I said to myself why even I need the car key to go I mean if I can eat in my home the problem is solved and this is how the inspiration of Allah come to me who need the keys anymore I mean who need the keys hey genie take the keys I was desperately trying to find the keys but now I do not need them and because I do not need them here we go the keys are here he left them here and he left see before because he knew I need the keys I'm looking for them the keys are cannot be found I want to go I want to eat but and then when this verse came in front of me I opened my eyes and my stomach feel better now I can eat in my home all my life I spend my life eating in McDonald's falafel restaurants etc but finally thanks to Allah okay somebody somebody he made the <laughs> the, the angel here looked like a female in this picture that doesn't work with the Islamic uh... somebody he made let's see who's the guy trying to call he keep calling 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 who is this guy trying to keep calling what happened to this guy the 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 angry guy <clears throat> let's try to call him he went offline that's it visual somebody his name is visual you have to first to ask for permission to call before you call otherwise I will block you confirm to me that you are a Muslim stop calling do we have any Muslim Somebody's saying to me, CP, you need the help, mate. Somebody's asking me to find a wife. That's a good advice. <laughs> All right. You need a help, mate. Uh, help. Uh, she can help your, you <laughs> lower your pressure. <laughs> my friend, I think if I get married, she will increase my pressure. It's not the opposite. <laughs> that's a good one so uh this the, i don't know if it's a guy or a guy i have no idea who's person uh praying for a speed recovery for you okay uh she can help your lower uh your pressure hey if muhammad had so many and seemed happy so it is not an irreversible for to ask for one who said that Muhammad was happy Muhammad was not happy Muhammad was living a hell of a, of a life let me show you the reference Muhammad was happy you think so look at this Muhammad he even made verses in the Quran threatening his wives that if they fight him Allah will take the side his side let me change this translation it's funny let us go to maybe Yusuf Ali it's better translation for this verse hmm. two of the wives of Muhammad they made two parties two parties don't call me guys without permission I will block you Ask me first before you call, please. If you two 
turn into repentance to him but this is not only two women it's two parties party of Hafsa and party of Aisha all right two parties they which mean the the, the women of Muhammad divided enter two leadership two women they take the lead so Muhammad he is in trouble to the point he needed Allah himself to take his side and Allah he's in those verses and just to show you another verse of how stupid the Quran is when the Prophet disclosed a matter in confidence to one of his consorts and then she uh, divulged it to another and Allah made it known to him I mean have you ever heard of something stupid like this if the Prophet he said something to his wife and then the other wife she spread the, 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 the news of what he told her and then it became known to him I mean what known to him he is the one who told them he confirmed the part therefore and he reproduced a, a part and then when he told her therefore she said who told this this I mean this is God talking this is my grandma this is my grandma visiting her her neighbor they are talking about the other grandma what she said to her uh, you know uh, her daughter-in-law what is this God he speak like this the prophet he said something to his wife and the wife she told other wives and then when the news came to the prophet the prophet he confirmed son and he rejects some and then I mean what is this this is wisdom my friend Muhammad is the guru of India brother if the Indian brother they saw the prophet in the time of the you know the old days 1400 years they will make him the guru of women and wives That is God, and this is a prophet. And then Allah here want to solve the problem. Look what he said. If you turn into repentance to him, repentance to him, why? What they did? Your heart are indeed so inclined. But, but, if you back up each other against him truly Allah is his protector what two wives they are five foot tall and now Muhammad he got the support of Allah to protect him what they will do they will cut his penis what do you mean are they in war and Jibreel, Allah is not enough. I mean, the fight is so big. The fight is so big to the point Allah alone is not good to do any good. I mean, how Allah can help? He cannot alone. Those are two women, Aisha and Hafsa. Are you crazy? They are crazy. So Allah truly is the protector. And in the top of that, Jibreel. And the brother. And not only Jibreel alone, and every righteous believer all the way from Pakistan to India, and even in Hululu. Among those who believe, they are going to take the side of the Prophet against his wife. And furthermore, brother, and furthermore, the angels, if, 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 if all of those to fight two female, those are enough to destroy the whole earth. All of this, Allah. And the angels and Jibreel and every righteous believer. Shabir Ali is there, Zakir Naik is there. All of them they are holding sticks and rocks, they are throwing rocks at Aisha. All of this to fight two females, and they are the wives of Muhammad. I can accept this verse if Muhammad trying to fight uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher when she was a prime minister. 
I mean, come on. You are fighting who who are here? So when you say to me, Muhammad was happy, that's a joke. What are you talking about? Obviously, this guy, you see, Allah is the puppet of Muhammad. He used him as he wished for his purpose. Here we go. He want to silence the wives. So what he do? And by the way, this verse, he took it from who? Anyone remember? Hmm? Who is the one who gave him this chapter? Who remember? Anyone remember? Omar ibn al-Khattab. Omar ibn al-Khattab is the one behind this verse. Omar ibn al-Khattab, he said that verse. Muhammad, he put it in the Quran. And even the hadith confirmed that. From which site Ajib Mahani al Kalimat Mojuda fil Quran? So you speak Arabic, Idi? Do I understand that you speak Arabic or you are using uh, Google Translation to translate what you said? I'm assuming that you speak Arabic. Well, the words in the Quran simply, uh, um, you can search, very simple, first of all. Um, you can copy a word and you can try to find it in the dictionary. But remember, uh, sometimes dictionary even dictionary cannot recognize words because um, you have to search for the root of the word so you have to have like a some kind of a, a strong Arabic before you can find really the meaning uh, Oh, the person who sent me says I meant uh, he, he had sexual satisfied. <laughs> I don't think so. Muhammad, he never had sexual satisfied. If you remember the hadith confirm, you see, we have all the laundry of Muhammad. This is the problem. If you have my book, Six and Allah. You will see how Aisha she tried to come to Muhammad to play with him, which means she want to have sex. And Muhammad he says, seek refuge by Allah from the hard penis. So obviously he is not having one. Excuse my language. And if you remember in the hadith, it says that the Prophet he imagined he had done things, but in fact he never did. And that is including sex. Right? And actually, even the hadith says clearly that this is including sex. If you read here, it says, The Prophet continued for such and such a period of time, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives, but in fact, he did not. So, obviously, Muhammad, he don't have a sexual life. You see, people who brag about something, mostly they don't have it. And people who have it, they don't even mention it. Like, I mean, I, I'm not trying to, uh, like, uh, insult or anything, but let, let's give you, a, uh, like, uh, an example. If I am a poor person, and nothing wrong with being poor, by the way, but let us say I'm poor, and this is the first time I buy sport shoes. First time ever I wear any new shoes, maybe, in my life. And by the way, this has happened to many people. If you think this is not really a good example, there's people, they never wear something new all their life. All their clothes is used. They, 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 they buy it from used uh, stores, clothes. They are poor. So, so imagine I'm very poor. And God bless the poor, by the way. But this is the first time I wear a shoe, and they are brand new. You can imagine how I will treat my shoes and how I will walk in the street and I will be looking down at them. Because I cannot believe it. I'm wearing those shoes because I don't have it. But somebody else is coming from a wealthy family who changes shoes every day. I mean, he will not even notice 
the shoes he will not talk about them but the other guy who is the poor who first time wear those shoes he will go and tell his friends do you see the shoes I mean it's very important thing suddenly happen in his life because this is a normal when Muhammad he brag about his sexual power obviously there is something behind as an example why a guy he will say to the people that I used to be the most weak person between mankind and sex until I get the power of sorry uh, until I invoke Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab and I ate it I get the power of 40 men What is this story is about in this story Muhammad he agreed in two things that he was the most weak person in sex and then a miracle happened Allah sent him a dish of shish kebab he ate it he got the power of 40 men so here Muhammad is bragging about power of 40 men but he in the same time he admitted that he have a sexual problem you know what I mean so people who brag about something usually is to cover up something they are missing in their life a woman she don't want to show her friends that she is not happy in her life so she claim you know hum honey how are you she sent text messages maybe even for a guy is not even exist because she want to show her friend that she have a honey in her life and she is happy and she is excited and she is everything is good but behind the scene is a different story there is there is a, a, a serological problem with some people who when they miss something and the society around them judge you for that thing what they do they create a fake replacement so that society will not judge them and Muhammad is a person who was born between the Arab and the Arab they make fun of you if you are not man enough as they claim if you cannot have sex and actually this has even happened not only in the Arab society and that explains why Muhammad exaggerate about his sexual power that he have the power of 40 men but obviously as you see he cannot even have sex with one wife from all the wives Muhammad he have he could not make one one of them have a child the Muslim they say that he made Mary the Copt Breton but the fact is not true and there is many reference what I actually said is when, when, when this guy he this kid he died and it's very funny that any kid Muhammad he he claimed that this is his father or his his father he died I actually said to him you know that he don't like 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 you and he is not from you there is no way Muhammad will accept Aisha to say such a thing about his son unless it's true otherwise he would go crazy in her uh, <clears throat> Khadija the Muslim they say he have from her four daughters I guarantee you Muhammad he have zero daughters from her the Shia they agree that only Fatima was his daughter the rest are the daughters of Khadija from previous husbands but I believe strongly that zero of them is his daughters and then Muhammad he married according to Muslim 13 women none of them gave him child and that confirmed the story and even there's a verse in the Quran about a guy make fun of Muhammad that he cannot have children's all right now anyway guys I'm really uh, I start having headache as you know as I'm still not uh, fully discovered uh, like recovered so I'm not going to stay longer I apologize um, I'm, I'm a lot better but it's not totally done and now already I'm here for I thought you see I said to myself <clears throat> Let me go for 20 minutes. I don't want to stay longer, you know. But as usual, 15 minutes always at least at least it's, it's two hours. Uh, what I can do? Topic, they take you to other topic. But please download the video. The one it says, uh, I can eat in my father house, the one we made yesterday. It's already in uh, actually many of you posted already. If, if you guys admins, if you can pause the video download it from there let me see Quran always try to find if you want to find the same video try to search for the same title which was there Quran 24 
uh, 61 search in YouTube and here we go as many people they have the video already uh, published in their channels so download it from there because this video reading is very good to expose this cult and how stupid it is and uh, you know you see people they are downloading the videos So download them and share them around. Uh, this is the easiest way to show anyone that Islam is stupid. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are talking to. All right? <clears throat> so uh, uh, let me pause the research here. Actually, I just searched for Quran 2461. Imagine, just because that was mentioned in the title. And here we go. You see people, they are keeping the same title, many of them. And I am posting from now on when I delete a video, I will post the replacement for it in minds.com. So please subscribe to minds.com and let me post the link for you in the text and the chat. Minds.com. I will post it for you. Subscribe so always you can find the missing link for the video because, as you know. I don't keep videos in my channel and that to encourage people to download my videos all right so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and enter we see you if I can come tomorrow I will be here tomorrow I will be happy between to be between you thank you for those who made donation we appreciate your support and may the Lord bless you all and uh, I really really uh, appreciate all those who send me messages they are worried about my health my friend I'm really uh, thank thanks to the Lord I'm very in very good condition uh, but you know it doesn't I mean you get if you get sick once every few years I mean you are really lucky right so I am really I am I'm really lucky I, I, I thanks the Lord he gave me a very good health so like I see people they get sick every year twice three four times for me it is something real so I really appreciate the Lord gift to me he gave me a, a wonderful health and strength strength and I really appreciate it and for sure I don't mind if I <laughs> if I get sick from time to time uh, maybe you know uh, to remind us of our weakness and to remind us that we are no one you know in a second you can die in a second you can go in a second you are nothing so don't be proud about yourself don't be proud about your health what you have today it might be taken from you in a second in a blink of an eye imagine and if you don't believe me time will come and you will get sick god forbid but you, it will happen it happened to all of us so don't be proud about your health don't think you became god because you are healthy today this is what happened to many people they think because they are healthy they are god they do not need god but when you get sick you will find yourself poor creature who need help even to go to the bathroom you need help even to eat you cannot even lift your head up my friend we are dead already the Messiah, the Lord, he said, let the dead bury the dead. This is why I encourage you from time to time to go and visit a graveyard because people forget who they are, where they will be. The best way to be humble is to see what is around you. There's people that think they are going to live forever. They think that their millions and billions will make them strong. One day you will be nothing except just a memory. For people who loves you or people who hate you so you better work for your salvation be remembered by the Lord first and then by the people who loved you for what you did to them not by people who hate you like now the Muslims they hate me but trust me they knew I'm not against them they knew I'm working for helping them I'm working for saving them from the cult and then what it's called hell which we believe in I know some people don't believe in it but we believe in hell and we believe in heaven so my friend if you hate people you don't ask them to join heaven and we don't hate Muslims we love them the Lord he says love your enemy bless those who curse you so the best thing we do is to remember who we are and to remember that we are weak and we are we can turn into a dead flesh in a second so please work work for yourself for your salvation people around you and save people around you so when you go one day you will meet the Lord and you have with you a lot of saving but this is not money 
the saving you have is how many people you spoke to how many people you help people who they are desperate people who need physical help people that need maybe money people who need whatever everything you do my friend is you you know them from their fruits what's what the Lord says from their fruits you shall know them not from their names your name is a Christian Prince who care still you might go to hell your name is a Christian you say Jesus Jesus still you might go to hell because you have no fruit the Lord he said that the tree who will not get a give a fruit is going to cut off and it will be thrown in hellfire my friend don't be that tree be a beautiful tree who help who give a fruit and let everybody see how beautiful your fruit says may the lord bless you and until we see you again christ is lord islam is false see you soon take care